Everyone who goes through an airport knows the Transportation Security Administration, and the middle name of the agency is Security. But the TSA didn't even secure their own most sensitive secrets. The agency posted its airport screening procedures manual right on the Internet. And anyone who reads it would have little problem figuring out how to get around TSA screening. So our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is here with details. Brian? Charlie, it's being called the most serious security breach since the creation of the TSA after the 9-11 attacks. This 93-page document, mistakenly posted online by the TSA, reveals the agency's most sensitive airport screening secrets. Since that day when 19 hijackers easily made their way through airport security, the TSA has developed a complex program to prevent it from ever happening again. But since yesterday, the secret details have been online for everyone to see. Most damaging, say officials, what size electrical wire can go undetected by airport screening machines? Valuable information for a bob maker. Also in the documents, a list of VIPs and federal officials who can get specialized or no screening, and items that screeners can opt not to check, including wheelchairs, footwear of the disabled, prosthetic devices and casts, and orthopedic shoes. Also revealed that the TSA only inspects 20% of checked baggage by hand. The rest is never opened, according to the documents. Well, this obviously gives an, a roadmap to terrorists as to exactly how to exploit the weaknesses in our aviation security system. As part of a contract bidding process, the TSA posted the documents online with the sensitive parts electronically blacked out. But with a few keystrokes, bloggers were able to quickly remove the black. And now the world can see what identity cards for the CIA and federal air marshals and other law enforcement officials look like, as well as hundreds of other details. What we now have to do is try to mitigate uh, that information so that if it falls in the hands of uh, the wrong people, uh, they cannot use it to compromise our security system. U.S. officials say al-Qaeda continues to focus on aviation plots, and the disclosure of so many sensitive details is likely to lead to urgent changes and even longer lines at airport screening locations. No Homeland Security official would agree to appear on our program tonight, but in a written statement, the TSA said the document is an outdated version of procedures from last year that has been updated since six times. Even so, they say they're taking it seriously and have launched a full investigation. And one thing they've learned, Charlie, is that they had blacked out the sensitive parts with a simple black magic marker. Instead of a fancy computer program, this never would have happened. All right, Brian Ross, our chief investigative correspondent, thanks to you.